Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and I'm aware that there's currently no sound right now. That's because I have the music disabled. Now, if you can't tell, this is Stalker Call of Chernobyl. Not to be confused with Shadow of Chernobyl, or Call of Pripyat, or Clear Sky. It's sort of its own thing, right? It's technically standalone. You can download the entire thing. As far as I tell you don't can tell, you don't need any of the games installed. But, uh... I think I've got all these things set up as I want. Turn to zombies, fine, every one to two days. 12 to 24 hours on Psy Storms. Uh, uh, moon Cycle doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I want... I, I think I want nights to be dark. Now, I do have a number of mods installed. I'm not sure if clicking this is going to do... I'm assuming that just reset what I changed. Yes, okay. So, anyhow, none of those are really going to matter. I've got a few things turned on here. Uh, I've got a mod that reduces the spawn rate, so instead of respawning pretty quickly, I ignore the difficulty, I'll be changing that. Actually, I'll just change it here just to make sure. We're going to be playing on Master. Uh, increase the online exclusion radius so things aren't as likely to spawn next to me, which is really annoying. I'm not using artifact degradation. I have auto saving on. Uh, I actually like crouch stand mode. I forgot to turn that on. I'm not using the crosshair. Uh, not using delayed repairs. I tried it. It's not what I thought it was. It's actually just kind of annoying, and it has, I think, a couple of downsides to it, which is... I think if you go to repair a gun and you don't have the ammo taken out of it, you lose the ammo. So that's not fun. Uh, I have the dynamic HUD mod in, so I have that. I'm going to try running hardcore AI aim, but it's going to be really brutal in the beginning before I get some armor. Uh, still have the helicopter patrols on. NPC identification is off. Binoculars will still tell me their hostility toward me, towards me, but it won't tell me their faction or anything. But I. Uh, radio music is off, for obvious reasons. I disabled remove dropped items, because I don't actually know what it does, and I don't want things I drop to just disappear. Obviously, enemy health is off. Interface is on. I like the interface. But no tracers. You can see my gun, though, in first person. Uh, no sleep deprivation and no weapon overheating. Uh, haven't changed anything here except for I reduced my mouse sensitivity. And... I have a number of mods, also I have an edit to make it so my 5.1 works right, and I have all subtitles on, so and you can see the music is off. So, anyhow, master, and this is part of this where you can start as whatever you want. Now, let me have a quick look at this. Uh, see, I really don't think I want freedom to be hostile to me. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same loadout, but slightly different. But the big thing is, is, as you can see here, I can spawn in the Great Swamp, whereas this, the closest that I can get is the Cordon. Uh, I think for standard purposes, I'm just going to go with that, and I'm going to use this. We're going to run story mode, but we're not going to run Iron Man or Survival, and we definitely aren't running Azrael, or Azazel, Azazel mode. Blech. So this, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be part of the loner faction. I have the dynamic factions rela faction relation thing in, so like... If I kill members from freedom, I think duty will get happier, and vice versa. If I kill military, somebody will probably get happy. If I kill mercenaries, you know, that kind of stuff. So, that'll be fun. Oh, I don't think I chose my start location. I I have no idea where I'm going to start. That could be a problem, because I wanted to start near the Great Swamp due to the sheer fact of that's where the main story quest begins in this mod. And it's it's not really canonical in any way. Well, it's obviously not canonical because it's a mod. But it's sort of a modification of 
like Shadow Chernobyl and you know the other the actual games but it's different it's the same but different if that makes any sense but uh, I have the STCOC or COP or whatever the the additional weapons mod uh, that's one of the things I've been oh great I started off as crap so I need to make my way the whole way down to here from the whole way up here and there's a problem with this I don't know if I can unless the scientific place here here can provide me with the psi protection device to actually get there so I've just made a horrible mistake and I actually need to redo this so if I do this it should take me back to the main menu because I want to be able to actually just straight up start with this but I, I don't need to go through the description so here I want the rookie village in the cordon and it's pretty easy to set back up and because it's not like the misery mod I don't have any major graphics mods in it loads pretty quickly in fact this might even load quicker because I've already loaded some things into memory you know base basic nature textures so this will spawn me if you've played um, Shadow of Chernobyl, it'll actually spawn me in that starting town where you end up at the beginning of the game, which is right down here. Here's where you start in Clear Sky, and obviously, Call of Pripyat, you start up near here in Zatan. So, what we need to do is we actually need to go over here. But, oh, actually, I think about it. No, there's not a box down here. The box is over near what's his face. So I have an AKS 74U with a total of 50 rounds of ammo, two grenades, an energy drink, a sausage, and then the basic binoculars and knife you start with, and just your standard coat. So I have no healing utilities. Howdy ho! Oh yeah. Quit screwing around. I have Close the actual like weapon. voice pack restoration and so NPCs speak in English. Not because I think that they would speak in English in the zone, ah, yeah, nice but because of so, shall we a different business? idea. Which is, I believe that if you understand the language, you shouldn't basically have to translate it in your head. If you know what I mean? So like, I believe that having the English words when you're playing the game in English is still immersive because you're hearing it as they would. You're hearing it as the words, not the language. Uh, taking up base in the old car park. These assholes might kill anyone who used the roads leading in and out of the camp. It's disrupting local activities for my clients and the stalkers who take refuge in the camp. It's hurting my business. I need you to take care of them. If you want, talk to Fanatic. He may be able to offer you assistance. Very good. Uh, any other work? I have a list of outstanding bounties and stalkers that need taken care of. The worst kind of scum and villainy usually end up on the list for various reasons. The zone needs its trash taken out from time to time. What do you say, stacker? Short. Sure. Anything else? Nope. So what are you after? And so I've got a decent number of guns and stuff, obviously, like the M16 and stuff, but way outside my price range at the moment. And I can't even afford that. Which will probably one of be one of the first sets of armor we get a hold of, so that'll be fun. Uh, ooh, I actually have enough to purchase that, so I'm going to I'll sell Did my I grenades. Did I not make myself clear? I need real stuff. I don't see any other healing utensils. Well, there's a bandage. I guess I'll buy a bandage. I could get... Oh, no, I can't. I'm actually one short of anti-red drugs. Uh, what about vodka? Okay. I'll pick up three bottles of vodka. Which is technically nine uses. So that'll, that'll last if me If you need while. anything else, you're always welcome here. 
I attempted to replace the HUD. I I to have made the HUD worse. But I don't know. Oh, I'll worry Come about on, dealing man. with that later. Put that weapon away. So we're actually gonna do this mission. Oh. By the way, the shadows look a bit funky if I don't have a gun out. Hide your gun now. Oh, okay. I believe that's, yeah, that's mutants here. So we'll do these three missions to earn a little bit of cash. Hopefully, maybe pick up a body armor or something. I'm wondering where this guy that he said might help us. Talk is. to the boss if you need something. Hey, bro. No. Anyhow, it's actually going to be, actually there's one guy that's really close and that would be a good way to get some armor right away. And I will be quick saving a lot. It's just something I do. So kill this guy, and that's actually quick, easy money. You gotta be careful though, because if they see me, they will tear me apart. That's what I mean about tearing me apart. But the weird part is, is there wasn't supposed to be military there. The military and what should have been bandits from the looks of it should not have been standing next to each other like that. They should have been fighting. That doesn't actually make any sense to me. Also, I forgot to quick save after changing my weapon mode, so I'm fixing that. I Whoops. My nose itched, which didn't help matters. See, now there's no military here. Placing a hit on people that aren't what? Oh, see the scope texture still screwed up, which is weird. This is bad. I'd... Attacking them is actually really bad. fight off whatever they're fighting here, which I'm going to assume is bandits, probably. And yeah, I'm just quick looting everything at the moment. 
see what we got. It's an M16, but it's pretty broken. Is this? Okay, yeah, that's an SG. I actually really like the SG. Wow. Oh yeah, was, one of the things I have in is, I think it's called item soup. And it adds in a lot of items and like retextures things. And it, it brings in a lot of the items that I remember from Misery. What faction is he? Is he a stalker or is he military? Fine. Pretty good condition. Much better than this gun. Actually, I shouldn't do that. I sh should sell that. Oh yeah, item soup also rebalances and reweights items, so weights are more realistic overall, but the amount you can carry is still roughly the same, it just tones down the numbers a bit. So like, vodka still weighs a metric ton, but like, ammo no longer weighs a million pounds, or kilograms technically. Okay, so, this is a fun place. What I mean by that is that these plants hanging off the top damage you. So, when I'm going through here, I have to make sure to not touch any plants unless I want to lose a pile of health or potentially just die outright probably die outright because that reminds me another one that I have in is the deadlier anomaly or deadly anomalies one it uses I have this uh, config that uses the misery statistics but I have it also set to scale on the difficulty of the mode so because we're on master they'll basically insta kill without proper protection Okay, this boar is a bit more durable than I was expecting. Oh no! Oh no. Why? Why? Please tell me there's only one. And that's why having a high damage gun is really good. Okay, so now what I need to do is... I still don't want to kill him. It's not on the list of things I want to do. Where's the gun weight? Okay, I see. So gun weights are more important, so be even less likely to be carrying around piles of guns. But that's fine. I don't really do too much of that as it is, because make enough just off of weapons, not weapons, uh, ammo in this mod pack, because if you only, if you don't carry around a bunch of guns, and you only carry around, say, a sidearm and a primary generally, then you're only really going to have the ammo, and it looks like the ammo weights have been reduced by item soup, so, or I should say the effective percentile item weights, or proportional to what it used to be kill him. I want to get paid, but I don't want to kill him at the same time. He's got three friends. I'm in automatic mode. Screw it. We'll use this gun because I don't want to burn through all the ammo for that gun. Oh my god, he has a lot of friends. This isn't good. What? I excuse me? What? 
Okay. Okay, so I have seven bullets for this, which I believe the ones I just put in were the hydro hydro shock rounds or hydro shock rounds, whatever they are. They just zone through into the Great Swamp whenever there's no door. Uh, that's weird. Still more shooting going on over here. Is that, did I say? I see military. Pretty sure that's military. pay grade isn't high enough to deal with them at the moment. And even worse, because there's mutants down here. The bandits are already alerted to a presence. Can I get close enough without getting shot? Shit, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. Good, now that we're in close range, it'll be a lot easier for me to take them out. Whoops. Do not mean to double tap. I realized I was in automatic mode still. There's the last guy. I thought he might have been over there. So I do know there's no exit on the left over there. So if he's gonna peek me, he has to peek back out where I can see him. Oh, I guess there is that exit. Which I think he went out through. I think you hear walking on the left. Yeah. Okay, he's behind the wall. Ooh, is that an SVD? use the same kind of ammo as what I'm using now? Yes. Yes, it does. But it's in higher condition. This will actually re-equip that onto there. Okay. As much as I like the idea of the SVD... I don't really need a sniper rifle. Checking to make sure. Wait, what are these? Chocolate. Okay. So that's that's food. It's a food with a lot of uses. It must be worth quite a bit. Hmm. Not a bad scope. I didn't realize it was actually a straight up scope. But that's fine because I actually prefer this. Harvesting mutant parts has only been minorly profitable for me. I was testing the mod, of course, and if I get any crashes, I know what's causing them, so. Because I've only really added one mod since I tested this for technically hours. I can go over there. 
that's everything. A different scope that I can put on here if I want. Another big money maker is actually the uh, uh, these things, the grenades for the grenade launchers. Okay, that should be a decent bit of money. All we got to do is go back now and turn in the two missions I've completed. Looks like that guy's gonna be coming out through the south soon. So I might want to actually have a look at that. Now, did I find any stashes on those bodies? I did, not in the immediate vicinity, but then I can get some stashes from uh, Sidrovich and... What was that guy? Wolf? Newton spawns over military. That's fine. I mean, military gave good stuff, and I could end up killing them, but mutants are a lot easier to kill. Okay, almost back. And once I sell and figure out how much money I've made, hopefully. Oh yeah, I have the ability, I have the thing in where looting bodies of sentient, no, that's a bad word, humanoids, or humans, I guess is a better way, is more accurate, humans, uh, can actually yield money, I don't know, it, it's enough to be a bit impactful, but it's not enough to make it just seem outright overpowered. Because the most I've ever looted off of somebody in terms of the rubles was Howdy like ho. four to six hundred, which is a first aid kit at most. Yeah, I, I was was concerned that the healing values on those were edited by item suit, but I believe it mostly just changed textures and added in new things. Like I believe it added in the cigarettes. What have you got from like the misery mod? Job is done. Thirty-six, thirty-three. I didn't look to see if he gave me stash coordinates or anything. Oh. You. I need to turn into you too. Job is done. Okay. Do you have anything else? Nope. Okay. I didn't get a PDA. So what are you after? Uh, now that's not the way bad, to not go. Bad. Okay, now this is where I sell everything that's not for these two guns I have. Except I might save the... Uh, I'd really like to find an M4. And this is what I was talking about where ammo is where a lot of the money comes from. Processed cheese, olives. Nice. Uh, no, 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 no. Anything else? Sell that. Okay. That is a sizable chunk of money. I think we're going to buy ourselves some body armor. What is this shit? Is that an M4? Ooh, and it is. I want it. Does he have any scopes for it? Hey, cock. What? Excuse me? Why do the scopes cost more than the guns? Okay. Is there any vanilla guns in here that I can have a price comparison to? Um, 
I don't see a single gun in here that has anywhere near the ridiculousness that is that. Wow. Is even the ammo for this that ridiculous? Holy crap. It's even more ridiculous. Well, ammo conservation is going to be a big thing. Still want that gun, though. Hmm. Screw it. No time now left. That's present. the way to go. The real question is do I want to buy that? It's extra ammo, but that, that's all of my money if I do that. I'll just be. Just, just gotta be better about uh, ammo. NATO suppressor. Does he not have a NATO suppressor? Hm, guess not. What about this? Wow, why are the weapon mods so ridiculously expensive? Yeah, Hydra Shark rounds. Oh, that's, that's all of my money. What the knives? I think they're mostly for show, but... I'm gonna actually now buy a more standard looking knife. I think it's more standard looking. Okay, so the quality levels Good on hunting, the knives aren't, Stalker. like, impressive. But what are you gonna do? Oh, this came with 30 rounds in it. Okay. Pity that I don't have a good scope for it, but uh, we'll see what comes of that. Oh yeah, and Nimble from Call of Pripyat is actually located here now. I believe he's just a straight up store that one. Okay, he doesn't have anything now. That's, that's really weird. really weird that there's nothing in him. Hmm, strange. Okay, so I guess we'll go this way and go take out that guy. Am I still overweight? What's, what's with all the weight? I mean, that's that's a sizable chunk. Between the three of these things, it's like 13 kilograms by itself. That's like 5 kilograms. Okay, okay, so I'm just overweight. Fine. Whoops. I was staring at things and not realizing I walked past my exit. Oh, right. Okay. This is the, uh... I'm under attack by a stalker. No, you're not. I'm not attacking. Don't shoot at me. It's rude. Okay, so that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to think about. But this should now exit me to the Great Swamp. I don't feel like messing with the military at the moment, so. And actually, I should call this one here. So, hopefully you guys are liking it so far. Bit of stacker gameplay, but a bit more... It's, I would have to say it's easier than Misery, but it's harder than base uh, Call of Pripyat. But uh, I'm going to call this good here, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.